Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can create calculated fields in queries. A calculated field is a field that is derived by performing some type of function upon values gathered from other table fields or entered by hand. The data is displayed only for the duration of the query and is not actually stored in the tables in the way that our other query fields often are. They can perform almost any function. Most of the functions of Excel are usable and can also use any available query field or data entered in by hand as the basis for their calculations. For example, let's say instead of having two separate fields that show the employee's first name and last name, I want one column that shows both information, the first name and the last name in one column field. To create a calculated field, you would first click into the field into which you would like to create the calculated field in the QBE grid. In the field name text box in the first available column, type in a name for the new calculated field followed by a colon symbol. So let's say I would like to call this field salesperson. I type it in followed by the colon. Next, you would type in the expression or formula that you want to evaluate and display in the new field. If you're referencing the values stored in other fields, the names of the fields that you reference must appear within brackets. If you happen to have two fields with the same name in two different tables shown in the design grid above, then you must type the name of the table first in brackets, then a period, immediately followed by the field name enclosed in brackets. So for example, orders would be appearing in brackets, then followed by a period, followed by the name of the field that I wanted to reference. You can only refer to fields available from the tables within the query, not just any table in your database. So here, to combine the two fields, first name and last name, bracket first name, and put it in exactly as it's spelled in the table. It's not really case sensitive, but it is very sensitive to spacing and punctuation errors. Then I want to concatenate first name with last name. Concatenate is just a fancy way of saying smoosh together. We use the ampersand, shift plus seven on your keyboard typically, to reference the concatenate function. So first name concatenate together with a literal text space. So double quote, space bar on your keyboard, double quote concatenate or smush together with the value in the last name field. So bracket last name. Close bracket. If we run the query to see if our function worked by clicking the red exclamation point, we can see that the salesperson record has indeed actually smushed the first and the last names together for all of our sales reps. And that's an example of using a calculated field. Once again, make sure that you investigate some of the functions that are available in Access or even the functions that you've used in Excel like sum, average, max, min. Those are all legitimate functions that could be performed within a calculated field. Also your standard mathematical operators like plus minus forward slash for division. You can use all of those too. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.